guys. Okay, so it's me, Alyssa, and we're in my little tiny kitchen of my 500 square foot apartment in California. Um, but we make it work, you know? So I'm starting this video blog today because I just had my family and my very good friend Crystal Cole visiting here in Los Angeles. And every time we go out to eat and my food comes, they always say, I wish I would have gotten that. So now when we go out to eat, they always say, what are you going to get? And what are you going to eat? Because that's going to be the best thing that's on the table. So I decided to start this. And also, I'm going to be including, which is what I'm going to do for the first one today, all my recipes that I always tell my friends all about. And they're probably annoyed. And, um, well, they think it's funny, too. But, uh... I'm going to share them all with you that you always hear about because I think they taste really good and they're so easy and when you don't have a lot of stuff in your kitchen and you're looking all the way and you're like, oh, what am I going to eat? I only have this and this and this. I'm going to share with you some fun, really easy little things that you can put together and they taste really good. So the name of this video blog is going to be called, What Would Alyssa Eat? So today, it's lunchtime, and this is usually my ensemble. Well, actually, I usually am by myself and cook naked, but I'm not going to do that because, you know, we're on YouTube or whatever we're on. So I'm in my gym clothes. I'm probably going to go do spinning or yoga after this, so it's got to be quick. So I just did, this is a quinoa veggie burger bagel. All from Trader Joe's, by the way. I'm obsessed with Trader Joe's. So, um, I freeze my bagels. So, we're going to open this little freezer that we have over here. So, I just defrosted my Trader Joe's bagel. Usually, it takes 2 minutes and 30 seconds is what I did mine on. So, after that, you, get your, you have your little bagel. You cut it in half. By the way, it's not easy to cut these bagels, but it's okay if it doesn't come out right. You just kind of like push it apart and you're good. Then you're going to, I always just microwave. You can do it on the, you know, skillet thing, but who has time for that? I don't have time to skillet a thing for seven minutes. So I'm sticking mine in my little microwave over here. You do... These are the best. I think they're like $3.99 or something like that. Put it on a microwavable plate. A minute and 30 seconds. You're going to flip it. I just burnt my fingers off. Um, so I would suggest using like a little flipper, but I always forget about the flipper. So I end up burning my fingers. That's okay. Just run it under cold water and you'll be fine. So then flip it over after a minute and 30 seconds. Cook it for another minute. And then... Just let it sit for about like five seconds, and then once your bagel's all cut, you're just going to literally put your quinoa veggie burger patty onto your cut bagel. Now, I'm out of avocado today. Usually, I like to slice an avocado and put it on there, but I don't have that. So, I am just going to use cheese. I've got, by the way, I don't know why we have so much cheese. Right now we have three bags of cheese in our fridge, and I'm not sure why that is, but we must really love cheese. Um, so I'm going to use, I have many choices. We got three cheese blend, mozzarella, Monterey Jack and cheddar, plain mozzarella, or sharp cheddar. I should probably check the expiration dates. I'm like crazy about neurotic when it comes to um, dates on things. I should probably close this. I'm gonna, all this stuff's going to go bad and I'm really not going to eat any of it. So all of the dates I always really check because I am in New York. I used where I used to live. Um, I got food poisoning a bunch of times. So I'm a little paranoid when it comes to dates on food. But I'm going to use this cheddar. It's still good. It's November 2018. So we're going to use this. And what we're going to do is, I'm going to hold this up. This is very tricky in this kitchen. Okay, so you just take your cheese, sprinkle it right on top of that veggie patty. So this veggie patty is insane. It's amazing. It's quinoa, black bean, red pepper, and corn. 
Um, and it's got this little, like, kick to it. Um, and it's one of my very favorite things. I eat it almost every day. Um, they also have a really good, at Trader Joe's, once again, um, Thai chili veggie burger. That one is awesome, too, and I'll share that one with you as well. But this is what we're doing today because this is what was in my um, refrigerator and freezer. <laughs> so then we're just going to put the top of the bagel on. You can see it looks a little messy because they don't cut very well. And then you got this fabulous, oh, it's going dark on me, this fabulous bagel at, with uh, a veggie patty and cheese. It kind of looks like a burger from this little angle, I guess we can call it that too, but it's amazing. And now I'm going to go eat my lunch. And tonight, because it's a Saturday night, and I usually never have off of work from Saturday, for some reason I do today, um, I'm going to make... Uh, turkey Moroccan meatballs. They're incredible. I made them before. Hopefully it goes better this time. They came out great, but it's always an adventure making them. It takes a long time. But um, make that because this is the quick one, and then we're going to do the really delicious one tonight. So I hope you enjoyed. What would Alyssa eat? <laughs> and I'll see you around, guys. All right. Have a good day.